All right. Hi, everyone. I'm here today with Mary Gutton, who I have known for over 20 years now because Mary taught at the first 10 fairy congresses. Um, and she was also part of the council. And maybe we thought we'd start with just a word or two about what the Congress means to you or what, what kept you involved all those years. Ooh, good question, Lindsay. Oh, gosh, the people, number one, the spirits in the valley at Scalitude. I just loved our um, encounters up there with all of those amazing beings and just the quality of the presentations that we had year after year. You know, it was just, I learned so much from every presenter, but I also felt like every Congress, uh, all this information was just downloaded from, I don't know, <laughs> the universe. And I would come away not able to articulate exactly what had happened, but I always came away feeling a much deeper connection to all the spirits of nature. So I think, you know, that's what kept me coming back year after year. It's like, how can you let that go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I feel that way too. It's yeah. like especially after each Congress. Yeah. It's like things that would you might doubt before just it's like it opens up your channels and clears any blocks yes yes and and being in community with 200 plus people that all believe the same way that you do is so rare and delightful <laughs> you know you can talk about anything and um you're not having to convince someone that there's a giant deva at the end of the valley you know i mean it's it's beautiful to be in that community yeah it is you don't have to edit yourself all the time it's like oh yeah. no can't talk about that you can just yeah talk about everything yeah. oh, that's great and so for this Congress, uh, you'll be speaking on um, healing the waters of the globe. How did you get started with that? <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, how did I get started with uh, the healing, the waters? Right. Uh, well, you know, honestly, I've been connected to the sea for like 35 years. I, I started working at a hospital for seals and sea lions in the 1980s. And then I spent 30 years taking people out to meet with whales and dolphins in the wild. And um, during that time, I got to know a whale named Granny very well. And we actually wrote a book together called Communicating with Orcas, The Whale's Perspective. And it was back in 2014 that uh, Granny said to me, you know, we really need help in the sea. And I'd love for you to start doing some water healing meditations. And I had been holding water healing events like once a year, but she said, that's not enough. <laughs> we need a lot more help than that. So I started the monthly global water healing meditations and we've been doing them now since 2014. So we're into eight years, every first Friday of the month. And uh, it's a really wonderful community and people come month after month, year after year. And we have, I have different people from around the world lead the meditation. So it's not just me. I'm the hostess and I have all these other people that come in. So that, that's how I really got connected to it. It was through my orca friend, Granny, who said, come on, we need help. Great. Yeah. That's great to have so many people leading water healings. You must have been exposed to a lot of different approaches. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've had shamanic people. I've had Native American people. David Spangler has led one, you know, just all kinds of people, animal communicators, people from all different traditions and uh, areas of, of my life and people I've run into over time. So, yeah, it's been a lot of fun and it's always unique and different. All right. And so then what are you going to share at the Congress this year? So what I'd like to do this year at the Congress is... Um, 
a little thing on water healing with the myrrh people. Mm. And, you know, the myrrh are water spirits, fairies, however you want to look at that. But um, they're a lot about beauty and fluidity. And, and they also can bestow gifts of healing and protection to people. So what we're going to do, I'm going to talk a little bit about water healing and maybe a few messages from Granny about how important it is. But most of my presentation is going to be experiential. It's going to be a guided meditation where um, the dolphins will take us to the land of the myrrh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then um, we'll meet with a myrrh person and we'll do some healing on ourselves. And then we will take that healing out into the waters. Oh, great. So yeah, that's, it's going to be very sweet and simple, I think. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, since our bodies are 70 to 80% water, I think it's really important. And also, yes, it's so helpful for us and our connection to the world. Right. To heal our waters. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then to extend that out yeah. into the rest of the yeah. plant. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Well, thank you so much. We're really excited. So You're welcome. Um, I'm excited to be back at the Congress. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally loved, I did the virtual Congress last year as a participant. I totally loved it. And I want to thank you for the year long program because, you know, I have just enjoyed it so much. The monthly workshops and all the posts you do, Lindsay, every week, you know, the tree stuff it, it's just been wonderful. So I found it just an incredible way for me to stay connected to the fairy realm and the nature spirit. So uh, okay. I'm looking forward to that again next year. Yeah, it's, a, it's fun to have a community to discuss things with. Yeah. Inspired by. Absolutely. For sure. For sure. Yeah. All right. So Global Fairy Congress is January 14th through the 16th, 2022. You can sign up at fairycongress.com and we look forward to seeing everybody there. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much.